After two days intense training at Lasham Airfield with Jordan, it's finally time for my first solo. We flew a quick check flight in the morning and then were straight into it getting airborne even before 9 o'clock. A huge thanks must go to the British Glide Association, Flight Tech Wingman and especially Jordan for being such a great instructor. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, it certainly was a really awesome experience. Today we're Jordan and we are about to do what Jordan? We're about to tail Ben on his first solo. Happy days and somewhere in the background is Ben. There's Ben uh, getting in his glider. If he's not already in it, he's getting in it. So uh, yeah, good luck Ben. Just moving off to the side, Ewan. Sorry, can you say again? Open. Just moving off to the side, so we get a better camera angle. Okay, no worries. Close. Close. Thank you. Close. Close.
Still there, so it's quite nice. I'm a double Okay, currently at your seven o'clock is the break. Uh, if you just so what speed you at the moment, fifty. Okay. I'll go for sixty. Okay, no, save your speed. I'll uh, pull me on you. Fifty-five will be alright. Got it. Now eight o'clock. Two fifty three clear join. Lovely work, Jordan. Have fun. See you on the ground. 
Cheers, guys. Ship Gulf of Skag will be joining Long Pine on runway 09 North. Well, first line of solo. Uh, it feels okay, to be honest. No, it was really nice, but uh, it was uh, Jordan and Scrabble, uh, Flat Deck Roomman in the lead aircraft, uh, doing the aero tow up. That was really cool, actually, when it was them that invited me down here to do the first solo. Uh, so, 1900 feet, going for about um, probably 1000 feet at the start of the downwind leg uh, initially on the extended downwind. Got a little bit of time to do some maneuvering. There's recovering in the tub now. Expecting 50 knots, which is um, best glide speed. It's quite early in the morning, it's not even 9 o'clock yet, uh, so the air's super still. Day at Lashem. It's going to be super busy today. Hopefully, the weather's really nice. The other guys out already rigging the gliders. Really, really good course with Jordan. I've absolutely love flying with him. He's a great guy. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's strange being in the glider anymore. You'd hope that I wouldn't be feeling like that with the fact I'm now flying it solo. Um, but it's just, I love the visibility. I love how quiet it is and smooth <laughs> on a nice day at the minute. I'm sure with the thermals later, it's going to increase a bit.
did a little bit of manoeuvring before getting on to Crikey, which we're approaching in just a minute. Six hundred feet at low key. I am ever so slightly high, which is okay. Can widen out slightly. Retrain for sixty. which is a new thing for me. Probably my worst landing. Yeah, I am happy. Although I got onto final, I'm like, mm, am I low here? So I'm like, air braking a bit, air braking a bit, air braking a bit. Oh no, I'm okay now. Congratulations, but, uh, thanks. Well. thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> absolutely superb. Absolutely yeah. superb. I did feel like I was low then. Yeah, that was that was interesting. I didn't have Jordan go in the back to go. No, you're okay. No, you, you were good there. You, you were good. Uh, absolutely. I think I touched down a bit too soon. I had a little hop, or there was like I don't know a tuft on the grass, um, or it was light. I don't know. Was, I think it was alright. Congratulations, Thank you very much. How was it? Yeah, it was really cool. Thanks for inviting me down here. Yeah, it was, it was your idea, I think. Yeah, it was uh, quite there with that idea. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah. It was really good. I think it was awesome to have you guys take me out. That was really cool. I was so excited about that. Jord
Um, <laughs> it might have been in the radio. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's still like you were sat, like sat behind me. We've got some great footage from the tape plane as well, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that and the video at the end. But yeah, well done. Thanks. How did it feel being on your own? Well, yeah, it felt, it felt fine. I just, uh, yeah, I got downwind, probably in a more correct position. My tendency has been to be pretty high on every approach because, you know, I'd, you know, don't get low, I can't go around. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I just had a bit more confidence in trying to get into the correct position on the solo, uh, and it was okay. I was worried I was a bit low, but it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, well done, done, mate. Absolutely, Greaser. Well done. Fantastic. Thanks, Fantastic.